Hello, and welcome to the ARM Software Developer Breakdown. My name is Robert Wolf, and today we're going to be meeting John Nettleton from Solid Run, who's going to be talking to us about the Honeycomb Developer Workstation. So here we are with John Nettleton. Hello, John. How are you? Good, thanks. Great. Uh, so as we usually do in these videos, I think it's important for our viewers to get to know you as the guest. So, John, if you wouldn't mind just kind of taking a minute to tell us a little bit about yourself and, you know, what you do. Hey, Robert. Uh, this is going to be an exciting video. Uh, my name is John Nettleton, as you said, and I am the chief systems architect for Solid Run. Uh, I do low level software development, firmware, um, as well as R&D and other various pieces like marketing on this video here. So that's a little bit about me. Uh, what else can I let you know about? Thanks, John, uh, for sharing that information about yourself. It's always nice to get to know our guests on a little bit more of a personal level, especially since we're going to be talking about uh, tech, right? And you know, you mentioned Solid Run, and I think that this is also an important thing for us to learn about, right? So maybe you could take some minutes or a couple minutes to talk about Solid Run and, and let us know what Solid Run does. Sure, I'd be happy to. Um, Solid Run is an embedded computer manufacturer. We've been in business for about 10 years now. Uh, we're based out of Israel, but we have some developers in, all over the world, Canada, Europe, um, and some office is in Japan. Uh, what we specialize in is building system on a modules, uh, primarily ARM-based partners like NXP and Marvell, although we have done uh, Intel in the past. What a system on a module is, if, if you don't know, is we take a system on a chip and we shrink all the intelligent pieces down as small as possible, and it allows it to be uh, added to a single board computer or a custom application um, where you can take the intelligence and move it to whatever fits the application. Uh, we've been doing embedded for a long time. Uh, we started doing networking uh, about five or six years ago with our clear fog lines. Um, and then a couple of years ago, we moved to larger arm systems where uh, we had the Macchiato bin, uh, a partnership with Marvell and the clear fog GT. And recently we've now partnered with NXP using their LX 2160A system on a chip to produce our most powerful arm based system yet. And we really are looking on edge and uh, how we can benefit um, our partners to provide the best hardware possible for that application. John, that's awesome. You know, thank you for taking the time to share with us oh. uh, some information about Solid Run. I think, um, I think that this is a perfect segue for us to now talk about what I mentioned at the beginning is the Honeycomb developer workstation. And so you were mentioning, uh, you know, the NXP chipset that's being used on, uh, on your newer boards. Could you maybe tell us a little bit more about the Honeycomb developer workstation, possibly dive a little bit into the specification um, and, you know, the different features that, that are on this board? Yeah, sure, I'd be happy to. NXP's Layerscape LX2160A is a 16-core uh, Cortex-A72 system on a chip. Uh, it has eight megabytes of cache. It can support up to um, 128 gigabytes of memory in our application. We support 64 gigabytes of uh, DDR4, up to 3,200 megahertz speeds. Um, what's nice about this is it has 24 lanes of PCIe, USB 3.0, and uh, multiple CRDs lanes, which can be brought out to high-speed networking. Um, if we want to zoom into the other camera shot, I can kind of point you around the board if you'd like. OK, and here we have it. This is the honeycomb over here. Um, it may look a little weird. The board's to my uh, right, but the screen's pointing the other way. Uh, what I can do is I'll show you around the board and show, the, show you the features and what we have. Uh, as you can see, this isn't your standard single board computer. This is uh, a mini ITX form factor, and it's built to the standard PC specifications. Um, you have your 24 pin power header here, and as well as your front panel header and USB 3 and multiple and a PWM fan and then two other static fan headers. 
what we've done and what keeps with our system on a module is we've um, taken the main system on a chip, like I said, the Alex 2160A and the memory, and we've put that onto a ComExpress Type 7 form factor. And that's what you see here in the middle of the board. Along the back, uh, you'll see what's not usually found on a normal workstation. And here we actually have four 10 gigabit SFP plus ports brought out. And so that allows developers, if you're interested in high-speed networking or um, NVMe over IP, any of the new technologies that are coming out, this is a board that's capable of supporting that and testing that. We also have a serial port on the back, um, as well as a what, what this is is a header to a microcontroller, um, which we're calling a micro BMC. And basically this gives you all the operations you would expect to remote, remotely control the device, power it up, power it down, read the sensors, reset it, um, flash the SBI flash to boot from. All that stuff can be managed through this port with uh, firmware that we're working on. Uh, moving down the board, we have your standard one gigabit port. We have dual USB 3 ports, so we have four total if you use the front panel headers as well. On this board, this isn't actually a honeycomb. This is our bigger board, uh, so this isn't uh, here, but on the uh, CX, ClearFog CX variant, we actually have high speed for 25 and 50 gigabit networking. Um, and then up at the top, we have your standard PCIe uh, Gen 3 by 8. And then tucked away on the back here is an X4 NVMe slot, slot for very high speed storage. Um, on this board, I have a dual um, DDR3000 memory and a custom heat sink here. Um, one of the things that we get asked a lot about is um, because everybody's worried about uh, custom cooling solutions or different applications. What we've done here is we've taken the standard that used to be used for Northbridge chips on uh, PCs and GPUs, which is a 59 millimeter spacing with through hole pins. And we've brought that onto this board. So you can actually use a lot of aftermarket heat sinks and cooling solutions that were designed for that. Uh, is there anything else that I can uh, show you around and tell you about? John, that's, that's amazing. Uh, thank you for walking <laughs> through the entire board. Um, and absolutely, yes, I do have more questions. So, um, uh, you know, I noticed that you mentioned at the very top there, uh, one of the ports um, there for uh, ultra high speed connection. Um, I'm looking at the pictures online. If you go to, you know, the Solid Run website and you go explore uh, into the product section for the Honeycomb, it looks like the board online doesn't have that piece soldered on yet. Um, could maybe tell me a little bit more about, you know, that, that piece in particular, why it's on this board and not the one online? Um, certainly. Uh, so uh, with a lot of our boards, and it's kind of a philosophy for the company and how we design our boards, um, because the, the smart is on the ComExpress Type 7 module, um, what we do is we'll bring out the various pieces of the system on a chip in different ways for different boards and at different prices. And this allows customers to scale up or scale down the functionality that they need um, and to better hit the price point for the product that they're trying to create. For the LX 2160A, it does support features like very high speed networking, but in order to drop the price down for the developer board um, or workstation board, uh, we've um, re eliminated that and just focused on the 10 gigabit since that's, uh, starting to drop in price and becoming more consumer friendly. Uh, it still gives you the taste of high speed networking um, without the additional uh, pieces on the board that drive the price up that allow you to support 25 gigabit, 50 gigabit, even 100 gigabit with this chip as we move forward with the development. Very, very exciting stuff there. Uh, so now, um, I want to kind of address what maybe some developers are thinking here. Uh, they're thinking about Solid Run. They go to the website. They explore this board. And uh, they think about getting one for their desktop, right? Um, what, what kind of stuff can, can people do with this, right? I mean, I'm thinking more on the edge side of things, right? Using this as some edge device. Um, is there anything that you might, uh, you know, or that you have seen developers use this board for as, you know, a foundational use case that, that can kind of maybe spark some ideas or entice people to, to get one of these? 
currently with the honeycomb and the the developers we're building a community up around this and part of that is actually um, working on firmware that meets arms uh server ready certifications um what this does is it standardizes uh the booting procedure and allows any developer to instead of needing a custom operating system or Linux distribution built to it, it allows any standard off-the-shelf distribution to at least boot and get up and working with basic connectivity. So then you could even add custom drivers or whatever you need. How this relates to the edge is we feel that to make the edge, the big edge really um, work and move forward, what we need is developers using the board as their desktop as I am right now to do this conversation video and um, to really drive the um, software ecosystem to make deploying apps to the edge as easy and seamless as possible. Okay, so John, you just mentioned right now, I think this is awesome, uh, that the computer you are running and the computer that we are speaking to each other on is a honeycomb. So we got to see the showcase where you were pointing the different features that honeycomb was unplugged, but this is just really cool. Okay, I, I was wondering, hopefully maybe you can show us a little bit or a, a glimpse at the inner workings of the desktop you have going on behind you. Um, and also maybe talk to us a little bit more about how important this is for developers to you know, get these on their desktop developing natively for ARM. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna turn this camera on so we can, we can see it there. Um, so yeah, could, could you maybe just kind of give us a little bit of a, a closer look at that desktop behind you? Yeah, certainly. So here is my variant of the honeycomb. And one of the things that we wanted to emphasize was that it's a it's a standard space PC. These are just things I've ordered online. You know, maybe I've had to change a few things um, where I have a Radeon Sapphire graphics card plugged in. Uh, this is an NZXT case. Uh, it's got all the bells and whistles like uh, RGB lighting and and all those fun things. Um, specifically, what I've done with my honeycomb, and you can see here, is I've added a custom water cooling loop. And one of the reasons I've done that is strictly to make it as quiet as possible. Uh, this is only a 30 watt TDP uh, system on a chip, so it's not anything that is really needs that much cooling. But because I want my workstation to be as quiet as possible, I've done this little extra bit of work. And here I can zoom out and you can see, you know, we have an NVMe drive in there, um, my memory. Uh, I have another 2.5 inch SATA drive here. We have four SATA ports on board. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. I could do better cable management, but overall uh, I'm really happy with it. It's, and of course, you know, we love red and black at solid run. So we're happy with that. Um, if you'd like, uh, one of the other things I can do here is, uh, in a second, is I can show you the whole boot process so you can see just how fast Fedora will boot up on one of these boards. Ooh, I really like that idea, John. So yes, um, if we can, let's see, uh, let's see, um, and thank you, by the way, for showing us your desktop and amazingly what you're running on right now. Um, but yeah, if you can, let's, let's see what the Fedora boot sequence looks like. Uh, in a screen share. And so here you see our UEFI boot screen coming up. This is where you can configure low level parts of the system and the firmware, boot sequence, boot devices. Um, this is, this is uh, working to be a server ready compliant firmware. And we have our nice UEFI boot screen. Uh, this is actually also running an AMD uh, GPU just because uh, um, Obviously, we're with ARM, so uh, that is our, we need to use open source drivers, which we're strong proponents of. I will quickly log into the test user account. You can just see how quickly that boots and the desktop comes up. This is also running a NVMe device. Uh, let me quick do the normal thing we do on all of these showcases. Uh, let's bring up a terminal. Um, this is nice and smooth. We can look, uh, you can see. Here you can see that we have nice, all nice 16 cores. Um, if we run sensors, you can see that we're able to monitor um, all these within the system on a chip. Um, 
NVMe temperatures and uh, also the MD GPU. Um, additionally, let's see here, everybody uses a browser. Look how quickly that boots up. And maybe we'll look at some YouTube. Uh, let's see here, what, what should we go to today uh, here? And here we go. Oh, look, ARM Software Developers. Uh, you should check it out. Uh, this is actually where you'll be seeing this video if you're not already here. Um, and then if you wanted some other information, you can also go to, here we go, let's do Honeycomb. You can go to our site or even check out another video where you can find me on. And you'll see this is nice and smooth, uh, no drop frames. Uh, and this is actually all software rendering. You can see all those cores going. Um, then if you want, let's pause that. Uh, maybe you want to do some software modeling so we can bring up FreeCAD. I mean, really, this is, you can see this is not, this is a normal desktop experience, nice and quick. Uh, all the accelerations working really nicely. Um, really nothing you uh, can com complain about. Everybody worries about the low uh, clock speeds, but two gigahertz is, is generally what you're running on a modern day laptop. And uh, after you're done, you know, that's it. You can just power off for the night and go have some fun. And here we'll see the uh, Fedora boot screen going down. And it's off. Uh, thank you, John, by the way, for showing us the whole in, the whole boot sequence from the turning the honeycomb on all the way to shutting it down and everything in between uh, showing us a video on YouTube. I mean, that was just, it was cl clean, clear, perfect. Um, and then FreeCAD, which was just running just like you would expect any other desktop to run. So um, very, very happy to see all of this amazing uh, stuff happening uh, with the honeycomb and, and especially on ARM, right? So mm -hmm. uh, John, I think this is kind of the last bit here. I want to hand the mic over to you one last time. Uh, do you have any other things you'd like to add uh, or let our viewers know either about Solid Run or the honeycomb or any sort of resources that they might want to go explore? Yeah, sure. Uh, please come check it out. Uh, you can find our store, uh, www.solid-run.com. And uh, you'll find not just the honeycomb, but uh, we have uh, another um, ARM-based CX7 module based on a Marvell chipset coming out soon. Um, we're getting ready to push the IMX 8M Plus. Um, we have all our IMX 6 boards and IMX 8M boards so we, and uh, networking stuff. If you need something, we probably have it there. Uh, we also have our developer.solid-run.com um, knowledge base if you need to find information on our board. And if you want to get directly in touch with us, you can use the old-fashioned way and do email, or you can come to the uh, developer ecosystem Discord channel, and we're hashtag solid run. So you can find us there. That's awesome. Uh, John, I, I actually, so I put the Discord uh, server link right there below scrolling. Uh, John, you know, once again, thank you so much for taking the time to make this video with us. And uh, I look forward to all the exciting things that you and Solid Run have planned in the future. Of course, uh, you're always welcome back. And to everyone who's watching, uh, please stay tuned for more videos around uh, the whole ARM software developer breakdown theme. Of course, if there's anything or questions you may have, check the description below. Uh, we are ready to answer your questions. So John, thanks one more, one more time. I uh, hope yeah. you have a good one. Thank, Thank you, Robert. Yeah. All right. Have fun, everyone. Stay safe. Take care. Bye.